Today, good citizens, we're checking out the eFizz iPod dock. eFizz. Most of the time, we're listening to our iPods through tiny earbuds. Instead, eWoo wants you to witness the power of its fully armed and operational eFizz dock. This 70 watt monster puts out amazing 2.1 sound, and its hand music remote lets you control your iPod as well as the dock from up to 500 feet away. Play music loud for 200 bucks. Say it, say it one more time. Ephes. Adorable. <laughs> Adorable. <laughs> I, just, I just want to take those words out of your mouth and raise them like a pet, like right in my own my own home. And Get a terrarium with for them them. And yeah. love them. That's right. And cuddle them. And but on to this monstrosity. Yeah, this is not very cuttable. This is definitely the biggest iPod dock we have ever seen. It's not so, yeah. It's friggin' huge. Yeah. It's a foot and a half high. High. And a foot and a half deep. And it weighs as much as Chris Hardwick. It's 22 pounds. Yeah. Um, I, gotta, I gotta keep my weight down. You yeah, know, it's we, Hollywood. Yeah, we do live in Hollywood. Uh, yeah. And it's, it's, I guess it's slick in sort of like that Death Star kind of way. I'd say it looks more like Dark Helmet from Spaceballs. Oh, good uh, call, good call. Else. So is it, is it way too big to have in our home? Listen, we'll, we'll get to that. It has a built-in subwoofer, which you can see on the ass end of it under here. So we understand why it's so subwoofer. big. It just, it just poops out the low end right there. <laughs> now, it, since it has that subwoofer, it's capable of 2.1 stereo surround. So. Okay, but does the giant size mean that it sounds awesome? Actually, yes. Because bigger is better. Actually, yes. You want to play a little Red Ring of yeah. Death, the only song we have yeah. rights to on this show? Let's see. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, other than the theme song to the show? <laughs> Did you play it? Low sound terrific though, there may be some, some buzzing, just a little bit if you really blast it. Mids and highs are a little quiet, but I gotta say they sound good overall, and it produces enough sound to hear clearly throughout your house. All right, I would ju just like to say that this controller is not very user friendly. It's not? It's kinda, it tries to like slide like an iPod thing, but it has these buttons. I guess, it's like an it's iPod weird. Junior. It's you can't control the same. it from anywhere in your house yeah. though, which is unique for an iPod dock, right? right? Yeah. There's a hand remote control, which kind of sucks, but you can do it like from 500 feet away. That's and right. And it has this 1.8 inch screen where you can see all of your music on right. it. Right, right, right. So, I mean, it should work. Technically, right. yeah, it should work, just like everything you said. But is and, it and, easy? And it, it is pretty much easy. The touch scroll wheel works okay, and you can do things like change your equalizer or view album art directly on the remote. I mean, there's really no need to be anywhere near the dock other than to charge the remote control. Okay, now originally this dock retailed for 500 bucks, but you can find it online for $200. Still kind of pricey. Is that a good deal? It is close, Allison Hayslip. Now, hmm. we've heard iPod docks that sound just, just as good for half the price, but uh, you weren't able to control it from 500 feet away. But they so weren't so that's friggin' really huge. Bite. It is really huge. All right, so what are we giving it? Uh, well, I'm going to give it three and a half out of five. Oh, wow. All right. We really like the quality and innovation. Totally looks like it belongs in a frat house next to a keg. Keg, yeah, totally. Yeah, that's exactly. what I was exactly. It just needs to be a little more competitively priced for us to fully, fully, fully recommend it. So, not Whoa. bad, not amazing, huge, and uh, your, your radius and ulna just broke.